B R F M. Good morning, Stacey. Good morning. Hi, great to be here. It's, well, it's great to have you. Is this the third time you've been here now? I think so. It's becoming a habit. Yeah, <laughs> and it's good. Come to Wales. No, not many people venture as far as Brimhouse. It's great to have you up here. Thanks. And uh, of course, you've got uh, lots of happened since you was last year with the um, with that. You pointing fingers is now out. Pointing fingers, yeah. Well, so t- next. A uh, March eleventh, so yep, a uh, week, two weeks. Yay! But uh, I, I've been following you on Twitter. You've been doing loads of things, like <laughs> the Grammys. I know. Uh, <laughs> so I, but you got the, the shoes out. I got the shoes out. Yeah, you, you, you oh. red bottom shoes, and you got oh, a the, oh, I got these again crazy today. shoes today. Then my, my, nu- my nutty shoes, and I had my yeah my Louboutins out. I did a red carpet panel, you know, so I had to look red carpet ready. So it was I good. It was really fun. I think you're joining Kiss with them boots. <laughs> I ran into Gene Simmons actually that night, which is funny, and I kicked myself afterwards. I should have probably taken a picture with him. But you know, it, there were so many, so many celebrities and musicians and all. You know, it was like you know when I got the picture with LL Cool J, I was like, that's the money shot. I don't need to take any more pictures anymore. You know, been there, done that. Grammys, Mama thanks, said bye. Lucky road. Yes. <laughs> So, anyways, it was fun. It was a great time in LA, and um, and, and now I'm back. I'm touring the UK, and the, I'm doing a radio tour first, and then I'm gonna start performing. My first gig to launch the new single is the eighth of March in London, and then I'll be up. Uh, I'll be back in Cardiff. I'll be in Cardiff um, s- soon. March, yeah. So twenty second. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing Student your university. Yeah. yeah. Yay. It's good. I may I'm pop down. To, you should do. Yeah. yeah, I love being in Can Cardiff. Can you get me in? Of course I can. Okay. Do you have ID? <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring Alice with you. <laughs> yes. No, he's definitely going to need ID. So, uh, <clears throat> the last single you had, Jenna from the Valleys in. Yeah, I had dinner with her last night. <laughs> it's very funny. I'm like, I'm going to be in Cardiff. You free for a girls' night? So, yeah, she's lovely. So, you st- with this new single, you've stuck with sort of reality. You're going to meet in Chelsea. I know. Isn't that funny? It actually wasn't meant to be that way. Um, funnily enough, there... Um, the, the treatment for the Pointing Fingers single, and if you listen to the lyrics, it's it's about a very controlling relationship and breaking free from that relationship and being, you know, this is my life. This is how I want to run my life. Don't tell me, you know, you might have been good for me, but don't tell me what to do. And it's actually a very empowering track. And so the treatments came back from various directors, one of them being in New York, which is funny, and we liked it the best. And we're like, right, okay, we can film in New York. And we needed the sort of, you know, that, that boss figure who was going to be that domineering, controlling character in, in the video. And uh, and it's shot beautifully and really sort of, you know, very artistic. And it's actually one of, very different from any of the other videos that I've done. And uh, so that part was actually going to an American actor, in fact. Um, and we, and I, by the way, I even watch his show. I think he's great. And and uh, I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And it just so happens that somebody over here said, you know, um, well, that show in the U.S. hasn't been over here yet and it might be a better idea to do something that like could cross the pond and it so happens that Made in Chelsea is actually now debuting I think just recently in their first season in the US and it's doing quite well and so you know and that whole sort of cross the pond thing and you know Made in Chelsea and I live in Chelsea and you know so that that was how it came to be. So there's the dominant figure this uh, gentleman called Spencer? Mm -hmm. Yeah he plays it really really well so um, anyway, so we hung out together. In fact, we got to, to know each other. We, we hung out together over Christmas um, a bit. And then um, he came up to New York and met me. And there were a couple other castmates that came down to New York. Yeah. And we filmed. It was like a 20-hour shoot. And it was intense. I mean, they're very professional, though. There was, it was a really fun day. Um, and yeah, it worked out great. And so that video will be up soon, I think. Yeah, I've seen the backstage one. Yeah. The That's behind the scenes. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was very, you know... Uh, that sort of sort of domineering, it's controlling. A there was a bit of a whipping yeah. thing going on. <laughs> I mean, you know, that was actually quite interesting. I mean, w- obviously, it's not the, the kind of video that I would make. And would, I would not ever be the dominatrix kind of figure. I mean, you know, got to. Wa- we'll leave that for Jenna Jonathan the videos. The shoes are not saying that today. <laughs> Sorry. The shoes are not. Saying the that shoes today. are not. Okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. My shoes might say dominatrix, uh, but no, the video was fun to make, and we had a great time. So yeah. yeah. So then you took a well-earned break then in uh, in the Caribbean, I see. Yeah. You it bumped into Mr. L.A. Reid. I know. That was in the same, ho- that was the same holiday, actually, where I was with, um, where I, I hang out, was hanging out with Spencer and, and his girlfriend. And it was one of those holidays where I found myself in, like, 
I, I, I'm like Forrest Gump these days. Like I find myself in bizarre places and different situations, and it's like, you know, like Am the, I really here? the grab. Like, yeah, really is this here? really is this really L.A. Reid? You know, and we're chatting, and you know, it, that's what happens. I think as you 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 take steps further and further into a career and like I still find myself like sometimes starstruck uh, yeah but uh, you know like I presented an award at the International Dance Music Awards last last year and I remember standing backstage going you know the Skrillex and you know David Guetta and I'm like kind of pinching myself going how did, how did this happen you know like I think the answer and the message is, you know, what you just never know and you've got to just give it a go because I think it's all about confidence. And if you don't have, you know, if you don't give it a shot, then you'd never know yeah, if exactly. it could ever work because, yeah. like, I it works. You do the odd man if you come to places like BRFM and get the fan base. Yes, and get a fan base. I, honestly, but Wales has been amazing. I mean, I've done uh, Mardi Gras. I've done about various gigs up here. And obviously, I come and see you all. And um, I think I'm doing something on the BBC later. I mean, like, and I think I have a great fan base here in Cardiff. And there was Mardi Gras was a gay mm. event, which is great. So I have a good support network in that in that zone. And no, I'm very fortunate. And I, you know, I think the Welsh are adorable. I mean, I, I love the accent. I I love it. I think it's so invite. I actually talked about this with Jenna yesterday because, like, I find myself every once in a while going, w "What? <laughs> what are you saying?" Like, you know. But it's such an inviting, adorable, friendly accent. You know. Thank you. Do you think the the valleys then will work in America the same as made in Chelsea? N that's a good question. Apparently, it's working quite well in Australia. So oh, they've got New South Wales. Yeah, a lot of yeah. expats, there, isn't it? <laughs> we send them all over there. So there, it's doing well in Australia. So I, you never know. I mean, I don't know whether or not they'd be able to relate to to it. I mean, because culturally, and it's I forget the accent, but I mean culture. But then again, we have the Jersey Shore, and you know, yeah. so we have our own shtick going on in the U.S. Um, but you know, Jenna is actually quite interesting because she she's very smart. You know, like she might not come across it. She's you know obviously doing what she needs to do for this show yeah, yeah. but you know she's a lot she has a law degree so I can actually speak to her you know she's quite bright and we're talking about where she wants to go with this and where she, her brand is and you know she's using her assets so to speak in order to get there and she's no dummy honestly I, I was really like you know uh, I'm really impressed with her and she if she does this right she can be very successful so anyways and she's a scientist in your video as well and yeah, she's she, she was good in my video, eh? She actually she didn't let it go. She actually played an, a a nerdy a nerdy character, and she and she was happy doing that. In fact, she's like, look, this is what shows that I have versatility, and you know, it's good. It's good for her. And I and for me, I love working with young people who are just coming out, do, you know, wanting to do something. And like, if they can look up to me and go, wow, you know, you're inspirational, or you know, can you help me? And I'm I'm so happy to do that. You know, I mean, I started off. Remember, this was a philanthropic thing. I worked with Music for Youth on my first album. And then I ended up here. And the launch of this album, which is my original album, is called Live It Up. And, of course, that's the also the title of the song I did with Snoop Dogg. And it's coming out in May. And, of course, I'm, I'd like to do... We're going to be doing a philanthropic tie-in with that as well. And we'll be doing a campaign for breast cancer. So I'll probably be up here in May to talk about that. And the yeah. campaign's called Don't Give Up, Live It Up. And it's about yeah, support and, you know, thinking positive during, you know, the tough tough times for breast cancer uh, patients. And so I like to always so you have a message with my madness, you know. And so it's not just about doing my music and the passion for what I do, but also if I can help people along the way, that's, that's important to me. And, you know, especially at my age, <laughs> I want to be able to make a difference now. Is that uh, what the concert is it at, uh, at the Roof Gardens on the 8th of March? Is that a... Y is that to do with breast breast cancer? No, that's well. The album it will be the album launch, so that will right. be in May. But March eighth is just the launch of the single, so um, it's just getting pointing fingers out there, and uh, yeah, so a big industry thing. There'll be lots of celebrities there, and so basically, you know, here stay her and her single, um, and then of course the next uh, the next one comes out with. Um, with will be the Snoop uh, track with the album, so that'll be remixed. And that'll be relaunched yeah um because you know we deliberately kept it into clubs we didn't have radio plugging uh per se we didn't uh leave the uk um deliberately we wanted to see how the song was going to do i remember this is one of the first tracks i ever really released original and it had snoop on it and i just wanted to see whether or not this wasn't just a fluke i mean i wrote the song and i was a new 
kid on the block. So we wanted to see how this was going to go. And obviously that did well in the clubs. It went to number two here in the UK. So we're going to have it remixed for the uh, globally. So we'll have different American remixers um, and uh, obviously some more European mixers on it. And we'll see how that goes. And uh, Anybody take lined it. up to remix? Not that? yet. I mean, we were just talking about it actually in the car yesterday because obviously there are a lot of a lot of uh, remixers who are sensational who would love to get their hands on the track and the you know with Snoop and me and uh, yeah we're gonna see we'd like to tread carefully because this is my one and only time to launch this song mm-hmm. and I want to make it I want to make it special and of course because the, the event is all tied into this breast cancer it has to be substantial and I'm you know listening to the new track uh-huh. on SoundCloud yeah and th- as I spoke to you earlier on, my favorite remixes version is the most listened to version. Yeah, the day mix. yeah, sensational, isn't yeah. it? Great, yeah. I mean, like that's what's happening. As I, as I, you know, I guess become more and more en- engrossed in the industry, or at least, it, what's the word? Maybe embraced as a dance music artist, um, working with amazing producers and, and remixers like Dave O'Day. I mean, anything he touches, I think he had like eighty-seven number one hits in the last year. I got a few so, names here that he's worked with. Uh, yeah. uh, Madonna. Yeah. Coldplay. He I know. Remixed uh, Charlie mm-hmm. Brown. Uh, and Rihanna, Rihanna Diamonds, yeah, it, yeah, it was one of his last, last yeah. ones. Yeah, and it just shot up, yeah. it shot up. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I keep, like I said, I'm like I keep pinching myself you that know this you've is moved on to another level. I you can get those people on board. Yeah, no, absolutely. In yeah. fact, it was interesting because I got an email back when he said he was he loved the track. You know, some uh, the person that coordinated it. So, I mean, obviously, I you know, the whole industry is about you know being in LA and schmoozing and who you know and you know, can this person introduce me to that person? And so, like when you kind of the same way when you send something to Snoop Dogg, or you're like, yeah, he probably gets a million of these a day, and then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll rap on the track. You're like, what? So when you get when someone like Dave O'Day gets get the, gets a track, I mean, he gets a zillion. And he turns down, you know, almost a zillion neck minus one, you know. And if you're that one that he picks, you're like, whoa, you know. So it was just so it was solidifying another sort of notch in my cap and sort of being embraced in that in in the in the dance music world as an artist. So I'm I'm like, (laughs) I'm so pleased. So no, no clue as to who's going to be remixing the Snoop Dogg. Uh, no, honestly, because we've been just getting emails back from you know from people. So I I will tell you in advance before we launch okay. it in May. I promise. Okay. I'll be tweeting about it and I'll send you a direct message. <laughs> but uh, no, because we've had a lot of people come and say that they want to do it, and um, we want to we want to make sure it's the right the right one. So because this is like I said, it's your one and only chance. We know it did really well in the UK. And the U.S. market is different. It is different. It's, you know, everyone says, oh, well, you know, dance music is global and you can get it on the Internet. But uh, if you want it to work, you have to tap into what works in the U.S., um, you know, if you want it to work there. Because dance music only in the last few years, you know, has become more and more prevalent or more and more commercial in the U.S. It's not like it was here or it is here. It's only getting be- you know more and more popular it and was more in sort of uh chris's field it was more like um, middle of the road rock music it is sort of radio friendly in the usa absolutely uh, still is yeah. it still is um but more and more you can't put out a pop song without having a remix to it yes. um so i mean at the end of the day it's they, they are starting to come together which is great so like someone like a dave o'day will cross the board yeah. but that said um some of the uh european remixers or uk based remixers might not cross the pond you have to be you have to choose wisely and uh you know we'll see how it goes but yeah i'm really excited about that about uh, about that that next release. So we've got all this dance. Is there any any rock songs on on the album? Because I know you. I know my roots. Um, uh, I am a rock chick by heart, by 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 trait. Um, y- there is a, there are a couple of songs on my album that have a rocky influence. Course, if, if this you know, course, um, and there's one track that I wrote that has a, a probably big rocket influence called "You Get in Your Own Way." In fact, I'll be doing it in March live um, with the guitarist on stage and the whole thing. That, you know, I think the album has to have a bit of who you are, you know. So even though, like, Pointing Fingers we were talking about has a little bit of the 90s uh, Robin-esque kind of feel to it, um, a couple of my other songs. Even I Am a Woman, my original, has a kind of heavy guitar going in there. I mean, you got in order to write something original, you have to have pull on every influence that, you know, that makes you who you are. And so obviously I can't let go of the that rock thing. 
perhaps you bring out a deluxe version of the, the album after whereas this version may be the, the stripped down version the acoustic right version. acoustic version yeah another version of the album with the uh, with the dance remixes yeah well we i'm telling you we'll just put out whatever you know it's amazing and because you know it is the music business and we do run the record label as well yeah. so you have to amortize your tracks and be smart about it you know and uh yeah i mean if people w are requesting and want an original uh, sorry an acoustic version of the tracks why not give it to them if you could do it, you know? Um, and, and it's the like same so thing with the remixes. You're covering all, all the bases. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. And, and especially for radio. Because as you saw Big and Wheels, we have a Welsh language version. Yeah. You have a we <laughs> well, okay, so then I'll start singing in Welsh. Why not? <laughs> so now it's Welsh sounds sexy? Uh, uh, well, we'll try. <laughs> My husband says I can make anything sound sexy. <laughs> <laughs> right. So busy all day today then? You yes, busy today. In fact, I have a whole bunch of other radio things to do. To um, and I think I end up in, I don't know, Cheltenham and then Birmingham. And then tomorrow I'll have a big day again. And then I'm home for the weekend with the kids. And I start again on Monday I think cause of course in Manchester. You, we've, um, juggling this career with four children as well. Yeah. So it's been, been interesting, you know. Um, you don't want to leave the house and be like, oh, my God, is everything going to be okay without me around? You know, like it, they managed to sort everything out. And my kids are older now, you know, so they're not. I do have a five year old, but I mean, she's near one. So she's and she's like five going on 15 because I have teenage boys at home. So, you know, she's socialized by the boys a bit like and which is they very grow cute. Go up, grow up yeah. a lot quicker. So, you know, I, this is this was a good time for me to, to, to go um, as long as they you know so far you've done sort it themselves su successfully you've uh, juggling the juggling two. the two yeah, yeah i just uh, i don't like to be on the road for too long and if it means that i have to go back and forth and back and forth more to in order to achieve that then i will it's just a bit more time you know of travel but i'd rather you know if i'm if i'm away for two days and then you know, two days later, I have to be away again. I'd rather come home in between. Are they supportive of you, the, uh, the children? They are. Do they get it? They do, do they get, get it. Like yeah, that? they do now. Um, yeah. You know, I think a couple of years ago when I first started out doing this, it was like, mom, really? I mean, you know, you have teenage boys, and I think any teenage boy, no matter what their mom does, is embarrassed, you know? Like, you kiss them in the car park, and it's like, ma, you know? <laughs> um, and you're right. So the fact that mom's a pop singer and off, you know, doing festivals and halftime shows at football matches and radio tours, you know, like... It's a bit of a different mom than good the rest. Of rights in the, uh, in the schoolyard, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And my, 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 one of my kids was like, "Mom, you know, maybe you're, you should you should write a book, you know, or uh, actually, one of the, they should write a book." My mom is a gay icon, you know. It was one of their it was actually my fourteen year old's idea. He's like, and I'm like, you know what, honey? One of these days, I I will probably write a book about this experience because it's funny. I mean, it's actually funny. I mean, tell. the stories are good. I'm out on the road with, you know, entourage and, um, you know, dancers in tow. And there's transvestites that dress up as Stacey Jackson in some places. And, I mean, like, the story, the things you see and the stories you can tell. And, I mean, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. So, and it's an amazing experience for uh, for anyone, you know. He's, um, not, he's playing the gender bender with uh, Kelly Catone as well coming up. I know. Is that a riot? So, I'm really excited. about. In fact... Yeah, and then I actually leave to match. My my mom's having some health issues, and so I actually have to fly to Canada from from Chester, from Manchester, and I uh, have to arrange flight. You know, getting from Manchester to Canada is not easy. I have to fly through Australia. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, so that's another thing. It's like juggling. Also, you know, when you're my age and you have parents that are you know ill and then kids to raise and a career it's not it's about juggling the whole keeping thing it's happy. keeping everyone in in tow but also you know not dropping dead so my favorite version of the current song is the devil day really? yeah but yours you is my original is the oh original wayne, g, wayne, wayne g, g. wayne g yeah I, you know i like them for different reasons i mean devil day in a club i mean brings down the house yep. i mean uh wayne g i love um you know in a different environment i think like i i, I could be on the um the gym running to the to that track yep. and the original obviously is <clears throat> i wrote it and you know it's my thing and um i think because of the influence that i've the influences that i've pulled from for that track i just love listening to it and it was fun doing the video to it so i'm gonna play the original anyway 
Play the original. <laughs> I've got the junior extended mix, but I'm going to be playing the originals. Would you like to introduce it for us? Just okay. Thanks again for coming in. It's been great oh my God, it's been a pleasure. Come I'm back again in March when, when the album's out, I'm sure. Yeah, um, May. 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 And we'll get a, get a band. Yeah, uh, that would be great. Bring your band with you. Bring my band with me. Okay. And I'll the cast of Made in Chelsea. Be bringing oh, yeah, we'll bring Spencer them all. Exactly. Huh? Spencer and Binky from okay. Chelsea. Chelsea meets the valleys. <laughs> That would be a good show. Whole new show. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh, oh my God, I can't even envision it. a mashup. A mashup. That would be hilarious, uh, actually. Um, let's bring that up with ITV. <laughs> That'd be uh, a good show. I hope to catch you down in the uh, in Cardiff, in Cardiff University on uh, I think I've got the date the eighth of March, Friday the eighth of March. No, I that's in London. London. Is it? Oh, 22nd. I'm in the twenty second. Twenty second of March. Yeah. Yeah. Solace. yeah. Solace. At Solace, that's right, at Solace Club, so it's yeah. good. Okay, so, uh, okay, this is Stacey Jackson, and you're listening to my new single, Pointing Fingers. Pointing Fingers. 